Hey guys, how's it going? It's good to hang out with you here today. Uh, we are going to test some stuff together, maybe break some stuff, maybe uh, learn a lot together. Um, so if, if you're not familiar with what's been going on here, YouTube has released a new, um, well, they haven't released it yet. They're, they're getting ready um, to test out a new design layout on YouTube. And what I want to do with you guys here today is walk through it. Um, I could get some beta access to it here and just kind of explore, um, you know, what does this uh, look like? What are the unique features it has? How is it different? What's the same? And uh, overall, what is like YouTube's goal it, and how is it helping them towards that goal? And the better we understand that, the better we can make content to help YouTube achieve their goals so they promote our videos better and and all that kind of stuff. So great to see all you in the chat. Hello, everyone. Um, let's get into this. What I'm going to do is this is my very first time looking at it. So um, unlike normal, like I'll go in and I'll like analyze things and I'll dig into stuff and I'll figure everything out. And then uh, I'll come to you guys with like, here's the top four things you need to know or whatever, right? Like instead, this is about as close as this channel will ever get to like an unboxing or a react video like kind of all wrapped up in the one so we're going to go through this for the very first time together if some of you guys have already had access to this and been playing around with it for a little bit i would love for you to help me out in the comments as we go through this and point me in the right direction uh, as we go through this together so let me share my screen with you um first of all let's talk about what it is uh yes um bernie new design. Actually, YouTube hasn't changed the design. It's been a few years. Um, now, if some of you guys may have been on YouTube for a while, you remember the design layout before the, the new Channel One or One Design, they called it. Um, before that, there was like change design updates happening like every few months. And then there was like a season where it's just like constantly. And then they hit the new One Design, which is what we all know right now. And that's been, it's been that way for many years. And so I was kind of thinking the other day, it's about like, when's YouTube going to start messing with us again? It's about time that they start, uh, they start doing something. So they have uh, an article that they posted today. We'll walk through this uh, with you guys here uh, for a second. So hopefully you can see my screen. Sneak peek. And I'll link to all these are down in the description below. So you guys can easily go check them out if you want. But sneak peek at YouTube's new look and feel. Okay, so let's just skip to the highlights because we're in the video, not reading here, right? <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so starting today, we're opening a preview of the new design to a small group of people from around the world so and get feedback. Um, I apparently one of those people. I think most people can get it. I'll show you how in a second. We're applying material design to YouTube to deliver a beautiful, delightful, and intuitive user experience. Now, first of all, they link to this. What is material design? Material design is a unified system that combines theory, resources, and tools for crafting digital experiences. And there's a video you can watch. I watched it. It's kind of like, you know design type stuff. Um, it's kind of outside the scope of what we're going to go into here, but it's basically like a really unified way of making things really slick. Uh, go back here. Okay. So the, the, the key principles that they're going after are is they're trying to improve simplicity. Uh, they just want you not, nothing to stand in the way between you and your content. They say it's clean, it's fresh with that thought the one design. That's what they call that too. It's clean and fresh, but, uh, they also focus on making the content shine. All right. Big, Thumbs up. <laughs> uh, consistency is the second thing. The new channel design will be aligned across all Google platforms. I haven't noticed it on my phone. Maybe once I opt in to it on here, it'll update on my phone. But we can check that together. And it says including the mobile app. So maybe we'll test that and see what that looks like. Also, beauty. We strive to combine beauty and purpose to create an effortless experience. Um, they have a new framework, faster framework, which lets them make updates to the, the system, like roll out new features more quickly, uh, which is cool. I think, you know, we all like new features. And so the first one is a dark theme. We'll test that out here together. And if you want to opt in and preview the new design, you can do that right here at youtube.com slash new, and then you can restore it at any time uh, if you'd like. So this is their announcement about it. Uh, now, I feel a little bit special because I posted this to the Video Creators Facebook page back in February. I started seeing some things.
can start. And I, I was like, is anyone else seeing this? You know, I'm getting all these errors. And I, and I noticed that if you add this to the end of URLs, that I was kind of getting something like this view instead of the comments were loading. And you guys were kind of helpful. Not really. <laughs> you guys were like, uh, YouTube tweeted about this as an error. They're working on it. I was like, I don't think so. Well, I was right. And um, what I discussed, what I bumped into back in February is actually the new fresh look of YouTube. So let's go through this together. I'm going to opt in for the first time. And again, uh, you guys, I want you to like walk me through this if you've done it already uh, in the chat. I am watching the chat here is right next. It's like on the right side of my screen. So I'll be watching you guys uh, as we go through this. So let's do it. Let's opt in here. So uh, well, here's the page. I'm at youtube.com slash new. Try out a fresh new look for YouTube. This new design highlights your favorite videos and creators while making YouTube easier and more fun to use. We're still working on it, but if you, but if you, we can't wait for you to try out, let us know what you think. All right. It's clean design. We kind of talked about that. The dark theme. We'll test this out. Uh, is designed to cut down on glare and take the true check in the true colors of the videos you watch. All right. Built for the future. We talk about this. Make it faster. New features faster. Try it now. We're opening the world. Designed to a small group of people from the world and the world. Let us know. All right. Well, let's click try now. Oh, look. I'm live right now. What do you know? <laughs> okay. All right. So not interested. What happens if I say I'm not interested to my own, my own content? Does anybody know? I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at the chat right now. All right. So what do I notice here? Uh, well, we got some interesting, oh, playlists is, uh, that's way bigger, more prominent than it was before. I think add to watch later. That's always been a thing. Um, not interested. So you can kind of, Hey, thanks for the dollar wandering fish. Uh, you so I, so I guess you can kind of curate like what this homepage looks like. You have like a not interested, which is kind of something Facebook's been, has had for a while. Right. What happens if I exit out? Oh, I don't want to. No, I do want to get notified of live streams. I just don't know why they're notifying of my current live stream. That's weird. Uh, okay, other live recommendations, other live streams that are happening. Again, I could exit out. I don't really want to. I don't want to fine tune my recommendations quite yet. Okay, so we got these under each video, so I can do that to each video. Yeah, it's very minimalist, Shannon. Uh, very clean. Um, which is, I kind of thought it was before anyway. Okay, watch it again. That's normal. That was here before. Um, Cliff Ravenscraft. So these are just kind of the normal recommended um, like uh, playlists and things that we had here before. All right. Um, so one of the things, let's see what's over, what this menu looks like. Um, Nothing too different. Is there anything over here that's supposed to be different, guys? It uh, looks kind of all the same to me. Except for they added all this down at the bottom. I think that's new. Not interested exists already in the... Yeah. I Yeah. It just seemed like it... Uh, maybe it's because it's all bigger. So what I did... Um, maybe this is what's going on. It's because uh, in order for you guys, for me to have the chat right here, like when I live stream, I, I'm, if I, I zoom in really like 150% to order to make this um, like, so you can read it. Otherwise it looks like this here. Let me show you what it looks like. Cause normally, so this is a hundred percent right here. Okay. But now it's kind of too small for you guys to read, but look what happens to the YouTube design when I do that. Um, now everything looks normal for me. So I think it's just like a little different because it's, it's not as now it looks normal cause it's smaller. I think that's what's going on. But, um, but in order for you guys to see it, I usually zoom in. So it's a little bit clearer for you guys. Uh, especially for you guys who are watching this on mobile. Uh, all right, let's see what else we got here. Is, is there anything different over here that you guys can see? Mm, yeah, I'll get to the Jackman works. I'll get to the dark theme here in a second. I think this is all the same as far as I can tell, other than being really big. <laughs> I don't usually browse this zoomed in. All right, anything else in here? Uh, it would be interesting. I'd have to take some screenshots. Oh, look, the subscribe button. Well, we are, I didn't knew that was bigger. 
because I saw that on the on the one I posted on uh, this one I posted on uh, my video creators Facebook page. I, I saw like, whoa, that's way bigger. Uh, and they moved it. Remember, it used to, it used to be over here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the subscribe button's pretty. So this is this is interesting because, as you guys probably know, like if you watch a few um, channels or a few videos from a few channels and you don't end up subscribing, like YouTube still pushes it to your home feed anyway. And so now they're just pushing that there for you to you know make it easier for you to subscribe to subscribe to those channels. So under here is where there's some new things, right? Uh, so I'm zoomed in. We'll see if this makes a difference. My channel, Creator Studio, switch accounts. All right, here's some of the... Oh, restricted mode is available right here instead of at the bottom. Let's turn on the dark theme. Dark theme turns the light surfaces of the dark page, creating an experience ideal for night. Try it out. All right. Activate dark theme. Um, okay, what do you guys think? <laughs> it's dark, uh, kind of underwhelming, I guess. Uh, I, I typically don't like, I don't think I like this. It's, it's too dark. Like, I don't know, the contrast isn't enough for me. That subscribe button seems like it stands out way more though. Don't you think? Don't you think that's like way more noticeable right now than it was before? Uh, like when the background was white, looks like YouTube gaming. I know exactly. It totally does. Hey, thank you. IT career questions. Uh, glad it's been helpful for you since we haven't talked in a while, but since our co consultation, I've grown over 10,000 subscribers and have hired help. Awesome. Good. I'm glad our consultation paid off for you. Thank you so much for the super chat. 10,000 plus subs since our consultation. That's awesome. Um, all right. I kind of, I just kind of feel a little bit underwhelmed right now. Let's, uh, let's go to an actual video. Let's go to a live video first. Let's see what we see. This might be different here. I just don't be careful of copyright stuff. Put it on pause. Okay. So the live chat is still white. That kind of looks a little clunky, but it's still in beta. Um, there's that subscribe button. Oh, this is this is a live video, so yeah, it's all gonna be expanded. Okay, let's go to a non-live video. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go to my friend C Cliff Ravenscraft. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, put him on pause. So I'm already subscribed, so that's gray. Um, does he have more in his description? That must be all he has. I'll have to go look. This is uh this is a vidIQ Chrome extension, so don't worry about that. Uh, videos on the right, still kind of the same. I don't know if I make it theater mode. VidIQ is gonna have update their logo though. It's kind of dark behind there. I wonder what it looks like. If I expand, oh yeah, it's still white. Yeah, okay. Uh, dark theme actually helped with an old secondary monitor I used for the glare. I quite like the dark theme personally. Press for Earth. Yeah. I don't think I do. Um, let's say it's bad. Let me go see if the video has a longer description. Yeah, let's go look at Sean. Is it too late to start on YouTube? Uh, okay, so yeah, still the three lines. And show more. All right. Yep, that's still there. Um. So the subscribe button uh, is moved over to the right a little bit. Um, Bell, I do not want notifications from this channel. I'm just kind of okay. So you don't have the option there to. It just says you'll be notified about every new content here. Uh, yeah, Grandpa's farm goes sailing. A lot of you guys like. A lot of you guys like the dark. Um, Great channel, thank you, Burritis Post. Appreciate that. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna put it back. I don't. I don't know. Dark theme, not really doing it for me. So let me put it back to that. Um, let's look at my friend Chris Camiso. Let's go to one of his videos here. 
we go back to default view. This is this is basically what I do, guys. When I like study this stuff, I just come in and just start messing around. I think I need. To, I think the vidIQ Chrome extension is messing up, though. Let me. Um, I don't. It might not be. I just want to disable it so we can see it in its raw thing. Because I don't think the the Chrome extension has been um, updated. It might not have been for this new beta yet. Here we go. Okay. What else should I be looking at, guys? Um, <laughs> this is off to the side, I think, because I'm zoomed in. Interesting. Report video. It's going to be add to playlists. Yeah. It's going to be share. These have been moved over to the right a little bit more. Um, oh, sort by. Yeah, top, newest. So, the, like, there has, I don't see any new features. Is there any features I should be noticing here? Because all I see is, like, basically the same features, just, like, different design. Let's look at Evan Carmichael. His top 10 rules for success. Yeah, no, so that subscribe button is really big. Um, it's hard to miss that thing, isn't it? Is it the same on the front of a channel? Yep. Yeah, yep, it's also that big. So this, to me, like, it just looks pretty much like the YouTube gaming layout. Like, you guys familiar with that? If you go to, like, gaming.youtube.com. Uh, you know, it looks basically like this, this is, I guess maybe they're testing out the old, um, or the new layout on here basically. Cause you still get like the, a lot of the layout looks the same to me on the YouTube gaming as it, as it did on the other one. Hmm. All right. So what should I be looking at here, guys? Anything else? Cause this looks pretty, uh. Just a different layout. Looks like the, well, it's hard for me to say if the font's bigger because I'm zoomed in. Zoomed in so much more. Um, playlist. Just clicking through on everything. See what I, see what else we see here. Any differences in the creator studio? I could look at that. I don't know if I want to put live stream that though. Anyone still use the discussion tab? I mean, his audience still does, but I guess. Huh, this is certainly cleaner. So what happened to the uh, contact? Is that no longer? Like, there's usually a contact right here. Is that no longer there? Uh, let me go to my channel. Um... Huh. It's not there. They took out the contact button, so that's gone. Uh, is the creator aspect any different? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I uh, well, I'll, yeah. Let's go see. We can go look at that. Let's just go to my videos. Mm, and this looks pretty much the same. I mean, I'm zoomed in right now, so all the margins, and everything, are kind of messed up, but. Yeah, this looks pretty much the same here, as far as that's concerned. Um, so, but yeah, that, that contact thing seems to be missing. All right, so if I go back, uh, let's see how I do this. Restore classic YouTube. Uh, I prefer not to answer right now. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, so there's the uh, business inquiries, that contact there. For you guys, if you weren't looking at this as, I'm logged in, so I see it, but if you guys weren't logged in, you should see a contact button right here. Um, let me go back to uh, the new, youtube.com slash new. I kind of like it. I mean, it's different. It's nothing, I don't see anything that I'm going to kick and scream about. Um, 
Yeah, let me switch back over to your chat here and let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, we can come back to my desktop if we need to, but uh, what do you guys see? What, should, what Anything you guys notice that we should be talking about here? Um, seems like they have a broken link on my channel page. The edit layout does nothing, just return you to the old channel view. Okay, yeah, press for earth. Um, some of those buttons are probably gonna be broken a little bit. Uh, so YouTube's goal here is to, uh, is to keep people on their platform as long as possible. Um, they want YouTube, they want people coming back to the platform as frequently as possible. They want, um, people to engage with the most content as possible. They want people to see as many ads as possible, right? So any changes YouTube makes are always designed around those goals. And so this layout must be part of that where, um, you know, they are, um, they're testing this out to see, Hey, does this, does this, by removing every distraction, does this remove, uh, Oh, the other thing I didn't add though is I have YouTube red, so there's no ads on here. I wonder what it looks like with the ads on. And, um, I'd have to go use my wife's account or something to test that out. But um, yeah, so any, anything they do is like, can we get people to spend more time on YouTube and watch more ads and get people coming back more often? Uh, so these design changes must be with that in mind. Like, can we start stripping some of this stuff away so that we can uh, get people to spend more time on this, on this platform? Um, yeah, is there anything different in how you guys would rearrange your channel or anything like that? Uh, can you comment on whether you know where the app rolled back? Oh, no, I, I can't comment on that. Uh, but we, sh we do need to check out the layout on my phone to see if, um, if the update, like when I update it on here, if it also is applied to... Uh, oh, but it said it was only on this browser. But it, maybe I guess it's eventually going to roll out across. Um... They said it was eventually going to roll out across for more uh, channels. Or not for more channels. Across more platforms and, de and devices, right? Okay, so here I am. Here's my phone. Um, I don't... It doesn't look any different to me. This looks the same. As far as I can tell. Hmm. Uh, okay. So basically move the bed and the computer into the kitchen and plan to spend your day watching YouTube. Yeah, that's it, Philip. Uh, you know, that's what YouTube would love for you to do, for you to do. And, um, yeah. And the toilet as well. Yep. Green looks good on black. All right. Yeah. Hey Tom, good to see you, man. Or you can see me. Good to have you hanging out with us, Tom. Uh, the app is not letting me stream. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm sorry. I can't help you troubleshoot those technical issues. You have to work with YouTube on those. Um, okay. So, uh, nothing new on the app. So, I guess that's where we're at, guys. That was kind of a walkthrough. Uh, I, you know, I was just kind of wanted to walk through it and see what it was like and what it looked like and, uh, what we, what we saw here. Um, yeah, don't, I don't see much difference. Girl loves toys review. I don't see much differences. Uh, maybe it's just not all rolled out. I think it must be a purely cosmetic thing and there's not really much that's changed other than now there's a dark mode, which is basically to me, it feels like it's the YouTube gaming page just made to look like the normal YouTube page. So I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping for some like really cool big things or like, oh, look at this. Yeah, so they moved some things around. The subscribe button, the contact thing on the channel, on the about page is gone, it looks like. Um, and they made maybe some things a little bit bigger than like that subscribe button is now like standing out more than it used to. Uh, so YouTube is trying to like drive subscriptions, which I think is probably something we're all happy about, right? Um, but other than that, like did we, is there anything else we saw that was different? Um, I'm reading the chat right now. Yeah, no differences for me, says Travis. Um, 
so you just yeah okay you guys are talking about other stuff too <laughs> all right cool uh so i think that's what we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up then it was fun hanging out with you guys if you have a, if you're watching the replay of this and you notice something that i missed please comment and let me know and i'm gonna keep this active on my channel for a little while and keep kind of playing with it. It's just a matter of time until YouTube rolls it out for everybody. So at least I can kind of be like kind of on the front edge of it a little bit and kind of see maybe bump into things as I actually use it day to day as a part of my channels and my and working with you guys and uh, doing consultations and, and things like that. Um, so it'd be fun to kind of see what I bump into as I, as I use it more. But that's what I got for you guys here. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and it's fun hanging out with you guys. If you want to get notified of my next live stream, hit the bell icon. Or a lot of you got text message notifications. You can you can send a text message. Uh, send the word VC Live to the number four three five zero six. And I'll send you a text message when I go live. Hey, Beanie Dawes, thank you. And, um, and you know, it doesn't cost you anything unless you get charged for text messages. And um, and you can, um, uh, I'll send you a text message when we go live. So text VC live to four, three, five, zero six. And thanks to my friends at TechSignal.com for making that available for us. Beanie draws chucking five bucks your way. Donated to Daryl and Roberto. Now it's your turn. Thanks for all the knowledge you share. Oh, thanks. Beanie does. And yeah, and, I, and uh, we were tweeting a little bit earlier too, I think, weren't we? So, um, or I saw your tweet, you know, so glad to have you. Okay, another two dollars for your editor. Is this how you guys can keep me going? <laughs> Good old mute button. Thank you so much, Faith, Faith Run Studios, for my editor. She would love it if she's in here. I don't know if she's here or not, um, but uh, I've been watching the chat as closely as I usually do. Cause I'm looking at my screen. Um, but yeah, so cool guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for your support. And looking forward to catching up with you guys on Thursday for a great video. And I'm also working on getting closer to like weekly or like content uh, every weekday for you guys. So I'm getting close. I'm drafting out a new content strategy. Looking forward to working through that with you guys. And uh, and that'll be fun. I got a lot of new exciting things I'm working on for you guys. Sorry, Jew and Greek. Sorry. Um, if you guys want to watch a replay, kind of see what we did. And, uh, and we will catch up with you guys on Thursday. Thursday. So thanks for hanging out, guys. And oh, another <laughs> Girl Love Toys review. Just thanks for your advice. We shortened our channel name and changed our logo. Okay, cool. Hope that works for you. Uh, and thanks for hanging out. And thank you so much for the five dollars. I really do appreciate it. Um, just these ads decline and things like that. So good night, guys. Yes, Grandpa's Farm goes sailing. Thank you, guys, all of you for hanging out. And uh, we will catch up uh, with you guys soon.